Many people think that in order to get that feeling in alignment with what you want to create, you have to do a lot of introspection, and you do, and a lot of shadow work, and you do. You know, I'm, I'm a proponent, and I've told all of you guys that if you want to expand your consciousness and connect on a deeper level to the world of spirit and indeed to God, then you need to get into your stuff because there are probably blockages and patterns and obstructions that are keeping you from making that full connection. And so we just ask spirit to guide us to the place where these might be. And from a passive standpoint, a, pa a standpoint of neutrality, we observe where spirit leads us, we have a look at it, and then we bring the light into that area. Shadow work is an in and an out type of endeavor. We need to be conscious of where the pattern is in order to direct the light to it. We need to know how it is that we are being driven in terms of behavior in order to correct that and bring that into alignment. That can be a conscious exercise, but it is much more powerful clearing shadow or aligning shadow or those aspects of light and dark within all of us. It's much, much more powerful to let God do the heavy lifting on that and to just create a life for yourself that sustains the energy that you wish to be experiencing. In my experience, in my life, it is much more powerful to do things that I love, to find the light in my life, those things that thrill me and turn me on. It is much more powerful to clear old stuff and patterns and shadow than to go into the shadow and stay there too long because I run the risk of getting stuck there. Patterns are like matrices. Patterns are like highways and you can get stuck in loops, in patterns. And a lot of times, if we're not self-aware enough, we can stay in that loop for so long that now we're creating. Remember, we are always creating whether we're happy or sad or neutral. We are we are always in some kind of a default position of creation. And so our job as spiritual people is to be conscious and intentional about what we're being conscious about. Does that make sense to you? To be mindful of what's happening in the mind. To be watching and observing the things that are happening in the mind so that we can take control of it. This is possible. The hardest work we're ever going to do is bringing the mind into submission to the will of the spirit. But it's possible. This is the challenge of being human. And you do this through the training of the mind. You do this through bringing in light and letting light do the work. Light knows how to find the dissonant spots within you. Light knows where the patterns are. You just have to be in it enough for light to do what light knows how to do. And I don't want to dismiss the value of analysis and therapeutics. Hello. I've been, I've been to counselors and therapists and doctors for all of the trauma that I went through as a child. These have long standing effects on my life and sometimes I think I'm over it and they pop up again and I have to deal with it and sometimes that means I go talk to somebody about it. Um, so I, I think if that's something that you feel drawn to, then it's good. Go talk about it. Sometimes just talking about it will get you to the shadow pattern or get you to the shadow space, but once there, what do you do? Do you stay in analysis for three years and keep talking about how terrible that was and how you're wounded by it? Or do you find how to bring the light into it? I think the more powerful thing is to find how to bring the light into it. Connect to the light, which means connect to your joy and to your love, and then point it in the direction of the pattern. And here's the thing that we can do with patterns to make this easier for us. We can find ourselves in any pattern that we're hosting, good or bad. And in terms of shadow and negativity, we can locate ourselves within the pattern because they are usually hooked into a moment in time or a person or a situation and a condition. For example, a really bad relationship. A really bad relationship where we were abused can change the fabric of who it is that we are. And when spirit shines a light, because we're spending time in the light, into this area, we can find ourselves and remember ourselves. And we can locate ourselves in the memory of ourselves in these various kinds of moments. Now, I grew up in terrible abuse. And I have had to, when, when spirit moves me to do this, and, and I don't do this a whole lot anymore because I don't, I, I don't need to, but every now and again, 
I need to. I have that little cage in my heart where I put my father. He was a rageaholic and a violent person. And I keep him in a little cage. And this is just a joke I say, but there's a part of me that can still rear its ugly head because there is part of a pattern that's still in me. And when I feel a reaction to something, when I feel triggered by something, I always know, aha, it's an invitation to go deeper and start looking around, poking around. Why am I reacting to that person that way? Why am I suspicious of that? Why don't I like the sound of that person's voice? It's not about them. It's about something they're communicating to you. So sit down, go neutral, receiver position, hook into a memory that brings you love or be in a space of love and then start pointing the light and look for who it was that you were when that pattern came into being. As a result of my father being a rageaholic and an angry man, I became a rageaholic and an angry person. And my father was a violent man, and I was a violent person, but I did that, I, I turned that violence in on myself, and I began to do myself, uh, self, I began to do myself harm. But as a result of that, I had a lot of moments in time where I, I had to locate who it was that I was at 17 years old, 15 years old, 4 years old. Find myself, envision myself, and then bring the light in and just love who it was that I was. And it's so key. Instead of judging yourself for having the same old negative thoughts, find out where they're seated. Find out where they're rooted. Find the moment out of which they came. Find the relationship or the person and then shine a light. Find yourself in that moment and love who it was that you were because in that moment, you're still you. You're lovable. That you probably needed to be loved in that moment. I know I did. That you probably needed a light to be shined into the space of that moment to help you get out of it. Be that for the, for the person that you were. Love yourself. That's how you bring light into these patterns of darkness. Let light do the work, though. All you have to do is identify it, know what the trigger is and why it's happening, and then just allow spirit to do the rest and spirit will do that this is a miraculous type of healing and so yes it is so important to understand that we have these patterns and yes it is so important to understand that we do have shadow and there is polarity and yin and yang however we must always align back to the true nature of who we are which is the divine nature it is that divine godlike nature you are all gods that's who we are we're gods in this 3D reality getting tripped up by the conditions of this reality. Always align from your godlike self in order to clear the rest of the stuff. That's the most powerful way to do it. I call that refinement by fire. I don't have the energy, God. I'm almost 50 years old. I don't have the energy to spend five years in analysis to find out why I'm triggered about that one thing. Instead, I'm just going to love myself in this moment. And I'm going to orient myself toward you, God, because I know that you can shine your light and find the chaos in me and you can clear that refinement by fire. I just wanted to mention that because there's been discussion in the group this week about shadow and the value of shadow work and then there's been counter discussion about being very careful with staying too long in shadow work and beginning to orient from that shadow work because again we are always creating and you don't want to be creating out of a space of shadow unless it's a space of healing within that pattern. Can I get a witness? Can I get an amen? Mm -hmm.